Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got some really interesting information to go over. Loads of hints have been popping up about potential Legend ZA news very, very soon. We also have some new potential Nintendo Direct updates to go over and some rumors as well for the upcoming presents too. There's a lot of things to break down and get into today. If you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell with all of that out of the way let's get into the video and i really hope that you enjoy so starting things off let's go over these new hints talking about potential trailers for pokemon legend za in the near future um so this was quite a big one as well this has kind of come out of nowhere but basically the japanese um twitter page has recently pinned um the pokemon legend za announcement tweet don't know why they've randomly done it now. It doesn't really make any sense. Surely they should have done it when Legend ZA was actually announced. But they've actually done it now. So obviously when you pin something uh, in Twitter, it basically goes to like the top of your Twitter page. So it kind of has the most eyes on it. So as soon as somebody goes to your page, that's basically the first thing that you see. So uh, it'd obviously be something that they put there that you want people to see. Hence why they would put Legend ZA there because they want to promote it. So we have Soul Silver right here saying the Japanese official Pokemon account just recently pinned this Legend ZA trailer from Pokemon Day to their profile. Could mean absolutely nothing or just maybe we could see a tease among other Pokemon news this month. June is typically when we get information. It's just that there might not be much news for the majority of this year. So um, yeah, June in the past has been a month when we do sometimes get information. Uh, obviously, we know we're going to get the Nintendo Direct this month, um, which is obviously great. Whether there's Pokemon information in that or not, we're not too sure. I mean, there's definitely not going to be any Legend ZA stuff in there because in that Nintendo Direct, it's just the games coming out in the latter half of this year from the Nintendo Switch. And we all know that Legends EA is not coming out till 2025. So it's very, very unlikely to be in that Nintendo Direct. Again, you never know, but again, I wouldn't go into that Direct expecting anything related to Legends EA or the Nintendo Switch 2. You know, even though they've come out and said that there's going to be nothing about the next console, people will still expect to see something. They might talk about it in the way that they're like, and remember, you know, we've also announced that the next you know, successor of the Nintendo Switch is going to be coming out soon. So, like, stay tuned for more information about that. They might say something like that, but they're not going to show anything about it, like the, the console itself, the price, any of the games for it, nothing like that. They might just reference it because they already have referenced it. Um, so, yeah, we, we have that all happening in June, obviously. So, would we get Pokemon news as well as that? I mean, if, if we don't get it in the Direct, do we get potential presents? Maybe. We do usually get presents in August. We also get Worlds information in August as well. So maybe we just wait till then. Who knows? Maybe it's not till July. But the fact that they've obviously been like kind of changing their pin stuff now is just really random that they're doing it now out of nowhere. Like there's literally no reason as to why they've done this now. It just doesn't make any sense. And they've also changed this as well. We have Blaze and Cineroar saying, correct me if I'm wrong, but this banner wasn't here before last month. So they've also, they've updated a lot of stuff about the social media as well. Like as far as I know, it wasn't. I checked very recently. No, it wasn't. Yada, yada, yada. So yeah, they've obviously updated the Japanese page a lot recently with the banner. And of course, with the uh, the pinning of this comment here. So again, it might not mean anything. You know, it probably doesn't mean anything. I wouldn't go into this expecting that it, you know, means that we're definitely getting information soon. It's just really, really weird that they're doing it now. Um, in a month where we have had Pokemon news in the past. So, I don't know. Keep an eye out, obviously. Maybe it's for the Nintendo Direct. Maybe it's not. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, either way, it's nice that there's a hint or it's nice that there's something to kind of like hold on to with potential news because we've literally been starved of news for this upcoming game. But uh, let me know your thoughts on this. Do you think this means anything? Do you think it is literally just a massive coincidence that they're like updating the Japanese page a lot now? Again, there's no like private videos on the YouTube channel. There's nothing like that. It is literally just the Twitter page that has been updated, um, which of course they do post a lot of their information on. So I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But Fingers crossed we do get something this month. Uh, moving on, we may also have some new potential Nintendo Direct updates as well from Midori. Uh, saying more information on the Year of Shadow is approaching. Please look forward to more information in June. That information could obviously be in the form of the Nintendo Direct that we know we're getting this month. Uh, this week, which was obviously posted on the 3rd of June, so... This week that they're actually talking about, Sega has been preparing to share new information on current Sonic projects. Please wait for more information very, very soon. So, looks like we're going to be getting some Sega stuff this week, which may also kind of... or Like, it might also kind of flow into the Nintendo Direct as well. So, there might be something about Shadow, there might be something about Sega, something like that in the Nintendo Direct, which I wouldn't be surprised to see. 
But uh, yeah, that might just be something extra that we do see in the Nintendo Direct. Again, they haven't, Midori hasn't come out and said, this is something that's going to see in the Nintendo Direct. They've just said something in June. So might be, might not be in the Direct. We'll have to wait and see. The only thing that we know is pretty much go going to be in the Nintendo Direct is the, um, what was it called? Uh, not Dragon Quest. It was, uh, what was the other one? Oh my God, it's gone. I'll remember it like later on in the video, but um, it might have actually been Dragon Quest, to be fair. It was either that or Monster Hunter. It was one of those that Midori has said is going to be in the next Nintendo Direct. But anyway, that's the Direct stuff. That is the kind of trailer hints and stuff. Let me know your thoughts on all of that. Uh, finishing today video off, though, we do have a big old rumor to go over that was posted on 4chan. Uh, and it's called Pokemon Real Information. It was posted by Anonymous on the 2nd of June. Again, it was posted on 4chan, so take it with a massive grain of salt. Uh, they also posted this as well, which isn't really fooling anybody. But you never know, sometimes, you know, leakers do play dumb to make their information. I don't know, I feel like it's, it's really weird. Like, sometimes an actual leaker will put out, like, stupid information, which just sounds, like, really dumb and untrue and, like, fake. And it turns out being true. But at the same time, this one is, this one's interesting. I take this as a massive, massive grain of salt. But it's talking about like the next trailer and anything like that. So I thought I'd include it in today's video since we have been talking about the next trailer and stuff. But anyway, it says, all right, you want actual information? Real, the Pokemon company, social media employee here. Pick related. I don't know why there's no verification mark. My Facebook is glitched. Obviously very, very interesting. There's just glitch. Uh, here's what's actually coming in the coming days and even in the future. So obviously they posted this image here as well. Uh, is this Facebook? I'm not really sure. I, I don't even use Facebook nowadays. But um, yeah, there's no verification mark. They've also scribbled out the followers, I think. And it says, welcome to the official international uh, Pokemon Facebook page. Um, so yeah, this is very easy to Photoshop, very easy to fake. So I wouldn't take this as like, oh, this means it's definitely true because it's so easy to uh, to fake. But anyway, uh, it's just informa it's just interesting. There's no verification mark or anything like that. Anyway, upcoming on the 13th of June, uh, we're getting Pokemon Masters EX. Larry will debut with the Dunsparce. Uh, I think we're also getting Serilege in Unite on the 13th of June. So... Um, it could actually be a day where they do drop a ton of, like, mobile stuff. Or maybe even the Nintendo, like, maybe even a Pokemon Presents. You never know. But either way, 13th of June, Pokemon Masters EX. Larry will debut with the Dunsparce. We also, on the 15th of June, have Pokemon Masters EX. Kabu will be uh, de uh, debuting with Center Scorch. And on the 16th of June, which is a, uh, that is a Sunday. So, obviously, a very, very bad day for Pokemon Presents. We only ever have had, the, uh, like, Presents on a weekend during Pokemon Day. Uh, there will be a Pokemon Presents type presentation titled Pokemon Announcement. It will be announced at 9 a.m. PDT and will be aired at 11 a.m. PDT. So they basically announce it for it to be going live a couple hours later. That might be like the dumbest thing ever because you're not even giving people it. Like people will still be asleep and stuff at that point. There's no way you would announce something called a Pokemon Announcement like presentation whatever for a couple of hours later you'd always announce it like the day before or the week before or something like that just so people get ready for it so already super super dumb it'll be aired at 11 a.m pdt it will only air on the official pokemon youtube channel it will not air on the international uh pokemon youtube channels it will announce pokemon uh leah or so obviously leah is the french word of bond obviously that is <laughs> it says Pokemon Liar, but obviously Liar is spelled differently. But yeah, Liar is the French word. of it, like, like, Legit is an actual thing, but it's quite interesting they've used that word for a <laughs> for a rumor. So it also, I think, can mean horizontal as well. Um, but yeah, it, it's mainly used for obviously the, the word of Bond in French. But either way, very, very interesting. But it'll be similar to Pokemon Ame, but with limited features. It'll be made as a cross-promotion between Pokemon Legends Z8 and Microsoft Surface Pro. We actually remember going over a rumor quite similar to this uh, recently, talking about a, an actual promotion with like the Surface Pro and stuff, and it was all, all to do with this Pokemon Ame thing. So I don't know if it's the same person that's like posted this and that. But uh, <laughs> it's just interesting the word they used is liar, which obviously is, you know, it's, it's quite comedic. But as I say, sometimes they post things like that just to obviously make it sound super unbelievable. But uh, then it turns out being believable. Anyway, you will customize Pokepuffs using uh, Microsoft Copilot, one of the main features of Surface Pro 11. That obviously is all, you know, actual information uh, by color. The colors of the Pokepuffs will be normal. So yellow, red, green and blue. Uh, the Pokemon you will be able to pet will be the three Kalos first partner Pokemon. Uh, formerly starts Pokemon, Chespin, Fennekin, and Froki. Uh, Zossi will return as the developer, tutorial, and the host of the game in universe. You will, need, you will only feed uh, five Pokepuffs in a few hours. After that, you wait for a few hours until you will feed uh, five more Pokepuffs uh, again. This game will release on the same day that the Surface Pro 11 will launch 
on the 18th of June in the United States via the Microsoft Store website, where you find uh, where you will find five limited edition Surface Pro 11s with a different packaging, and that you'll have the game on it. Uh, I've also kind of hid this as well because it was just kind of like calling out the leaker. A lot of people on 4chan just put like really <laughs> vulgar language uh, <laughs> whenever there's like a rumor or anything. That's why I've I've hidden that one for your uh, for your viewing pleasure. Anyway. Once you buy a limited edition Surface Pro 11, you'll have to go to this website as seen in the packaging to download the game. So link.pokemon.microsoft.liar.pokemon.com. Uh, the website will be page locked and will only be accessible via the limited edition Surface Pro 11 Microsoft's Edge, uh, the web browser of uh, Microsoft. This limited edition mentioned early will begin on the same day that the game will release until all five limited editions will be run out. This will be the title description of the script for this presentation. Um, so yeah, this is the apparently the script. Again, it's just... I, I just sounds so stupid, but either way, uh, title Pokemon announcement. The description is tune into our official YouTube channel at 11 a.m. PDT on the 16th of June uh, for an announcement about the Pokemon franchise. And then this is the script. Like I say, I, I swear that we've covered something very, very similar to this recently. This is a different rumor because obviously it was posted on the 2nd of June and the one we covered was back in like May. But it's right. It's kind of interesting that there's, there's very similar rumors talking about this same sort of thing. So you never know. But either way. Uh, from zero to four seconds, the three Kalos partner Pokemon will appear in the presentation. It is Chespin. Uh, Microsoft Copilot interface to customize Pokepuffs in this presentation. It is green. Feed the Pokepuff to Chestnut. Zossie appears. Black screen, then the Pokemon uh, Lion logo appears. Uh, the text ending the trailer fades coming June the 18th, 2024 on Microsoft Surface Pro 11 in the United States. Anyway, that's all of that. And then moving on, we do have some actual information as well regarding what you'd actually want to hear. So June the 27th, Pokemon Sleep Suicune will be available in July 2024. So the 17th of June is a Monday. Uh, and then also says July the 10th, there will be a Pokemon Presents. So the 10th of July is a Wednesday. Uh, there will be a Pokemon Presents. It will contain information on Pokemon TCG Pocket and Pokemon Legend ZA. Since it's too long, I cannot give the information, but here's, uh, but there is going to be gameplay and new Mega Evolutions. Pokemon TCG Pocket will release on the 11th of August, 2024, uh, while Legend ZA will release on, uh, release on April the 18th, 2025. So, yeah, it's really weird that they're just kind of dropping all of this stuff periodically, like 13th, 15th, 16th, 27th. Like, surely they would just drop all of this information in one Pokemon Presents, you know, with all the mobile games and, and everything like that. It's very similar to what they did with Pokemon Unite, where we had a Pokemon Presents, and then they kind of like, at the end of that, they said, tune in next week for another Pokemon Presents about Pokemon Unite. So that's kind of the similar situation with this thing here, but I don't know, it just seems, it just seems kind of pointless. I don't think it's really something that will make the Surface Pro sell more or anything like that. I don't, I don't really know. Um, but yeah, this Presents as well, apparently on the 10th of July. And then also, upcoming no date, sometime in June, Pokemon Cafe Mix, the Loyal 3 and Ogre Pond will debut. An event titled Loyal Chefs from Kitakami will be held, which will let players add specifically outfitted Loyal 3 to their staff. So, again, there's just loads of random dates that are kind of cherry picking and, and putting these uh, announcements on. But, uh, yeah, why wouldn't they just all drop it in a Pokemon Presents? But, anyway, th this, like I say, it seems super, super dumb. The fact that they've put, like, Pokemon, I guess it's pronounced, like, Lier or whatever in French. But uh, the fact that they've put that in is, is obviously very, very interesting. I mean, they haven't really done a great job of researching things as well, so... Uh, and also the image itself looks incredibly badly made. So I wouldn't really put too much faith into this at all. But either way, let me your thoughts on this rumor. Do you think it could potentially be true or do you think it is just loads of just BS? And then also let me your thoughts on everything else that we covered today as well with uh, these potential trailer hints and stuff for Pokemon Legends ZA and also this potential Nintendo Direct information as well. But anyway, that's going to be everything from me. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like down below. Let's try it at 500 likes. It does really help out. Like I say, leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we covered. Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell for daily Pokemon content. Have a great rest of your day. And until next time, peace.